Hey, what's going on? And welcome back to another video. If you are new here, welcome. It's your girl, Naya Nicole. Today's topic is absolutely mind-blowing. I was reading the online news and I came onto an article talking about a transgender group of lions. Yeah, you heard that right. That led me down the rabbit hole to research transgenderism in animals. If you are one to believe only humans experience transgenderism, gender fluidity, or transition, that being transgender is unnatural, well, buckle up because I have breaking news. Transgender animals exist. Snakes, lizards, beetles, fish, and birds, to name a few, all exhibit transgender behaviors in which males imitate females to gain advantages, including reduced competition, better access to territory, and improved mating opportunities. Wild. To perform and drag in their flocks. I'm just kidding about that one. <laughs> Although I wish changing genders would bring those kind of advantages as a human. Can you imagine? Everyone would be transitioning. Why do these animals choose to change genders, you ask? Well, sometimes the changes occur because they can't find a mate. So the animal makes its own. Or it can be an issue of their size. If you can't successfully reproduce as a male because you are small, then you can maximize your lifetime reproductive output by spawning as a female. Not a bad trade. Can't get someone pregnant? Well then let me get pregnant. I mean, I would do it in a heartbeat. An example of changing sexes, a school of clownfish is always built into a hierarchy with the female fish at the top. When she dies, the most dominant male changes sex and takes her place. Wild. I know. Granted, it seems like these animals transition in order to survive or reproduce, which is great, and it keeps the world going around. I can't argue that humans transition for the same reasons because everyone transitions for different reasons. Does the reason really matter? Many of you like to distinguish the biological differences between males and females. And if you are born one gender, then you stay that gender. These animals physically and or biologically in nature bend gender. Why can't we as humans be accepting of transgender humans? Now, if someone chooses to transition to be happy, why should anyone have a problem with that? Why is it that many of you think being transgender is so unnatural? I can go on and on and on about the animals that are gender fluid. Probably you will argue that they are not mammals like us and check this out. The most interesting animal I found while doing all my research was the lioness Mamariri. Have you ever heard of her slash him? She slash he is a mammal, so let me tell you. Researchers in Botswana thought that she was a male because she looks like a traditional male lion with a full mane, a deeper and more masculine roar that her female counterparts and her behavior within the pride is undeniably a role exhibited traditionally by males, like her dominance, her leadership, and protection to her pride. Mamariri is not the only lioness found in the wild experiencing this type of behavior and physical changes. She slash he is one of five in Okavango Delta that experiences this gene mutation. So yes, it is not just out of the blue that Mamariri happened to choose to be transgender, but a gene mutation caused her slash him to act and look male. If a mammal like Mamariri can be accepted into his slash her pride, why can't some humans not be as accepting of other transgender people? It baffles me the amount of hatred that exists today towards transgender and non-binary individuals. 
Unlike these animals, there is not enough research to support the belief that a certain gene or a reason is specifically responsible for someone being transgender. Why not be accepting and respectful instead of treating transgender people like outcasts? We are all on earth to make the best out of this human experience. So transgender, gay, bi, or straight, or confused, we all want to be loved and to love others, do we not? Knowing about all these type of animals that bend gender and exhibit transgender qualities, does it change your mind that it is natural to be transgender? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more content like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.